Welcome back to Limbus Company Daily Mirror Dungeon. It's a new week, but we're starting at a strange screen, and that's because... Drum roll. There we go. Manager level 100 and Kefflin capacity up to 150. I'm... From what I know, I don't think it can increase from here anymore. I'm pretty sure that's the max. I can still keep on going up levels, and they're still going to get like harder and harder for each one. But as far as I'm aware, the Kefflin capacity doesn't go up from that point. I haven't actually researched it, I just feel like I've heard that. <laughs> so yeah, just figured I'd start out with that. But yeah, it's a new week, we're doing hard, of course. And we're going to be running um, DG again, because it's fun. It's a fun thing to do. It's an off week, so we don't have anything new this week. There's some, been some adjustments. We'll have to see how some of the weird new UI stuff functions. Um, What do we want? I don't know, but yeah, we're gonna run DHE, Rodion, and Merso together, and just those two. Not quite a solo, but still a relatively low team size run. And we'll see how that goes. Naglant Hammer's probably fine with two people, really. Especially since we do resist Blunt on both of these people, and then one's weak to Slash and one's weak to Pierce. So going for Blunt... Heavy floors is definitely our best bet, even if there's going to be bleed here. Rodion relatively doesn't care about bleed if we set her up, so that's nice. Love you go first. And Merso kind of does care, but like these two can both get a lot of shield going. So I think it'll be relatively fine. We're only going to get hit by three attacks here. So yeah, you're getting a little bit of nails and bleed, and you're just gonna get up some nails. Luckily, you don't get the 10 attack power down and paralyze next turn, because you don't have that many nails on you, but still something. I feel like it's loud today, I don't know. Okay, well, Mercer just lost his clash, that's pretty, pretty cool. Oh well. Yeah, I need to get back into the groove of using these guys. Discard a bunch of skill ones. Do we just Scorch Knowledge here just to do some damage? I think so. Kind of lacking in erudition and stuff. But for now, we're just kind of getting trying to get our SP up. So go for like the good clashes. Nice. Get a little bit of shield. Get some resources so we can get our passives going. That's a big one. Because both our passives are pretty nice for us. Especially Mursos, though. Since Merso's passive is going to make his erudition a lot easier to gain than if you're running, say, a solo with him, simply because he gains erudition when allies discard. Which is pretty cool. But yeah, you can now see, we can now actually see the shield HP when there's shield going on here. I really wish they put the blue number above their actual HP number instead of just replacing it entirely. I feel like that's kind of weird because, like, why don't you just show both? But maybe there's something weird in the way of doing that, I guess. It's better than nothing. I feel like they mentioned this change a while back and they've only just now done it. I don't know, though. I might be misremembering. They might have always just been like, oh yeah, this is something we're going to plan at some point in the distant future. Yeah, two Gloom res for your passive isn't going to be the easiest thing to trigger, but it'll happen somewhat frequently. Royan gets a lot of benefit from spamming skill 1, especially at 3 Insight, because their skill 1 doesn't discard or anything, and it gains a decent benefit from it. Nice. Yeah, we need the two Gloom Resonance or Merso skill 2 in order to get Erudition onto Rodion. Which is, the main, the main way is Merso gains erudition anyways. The only way that doesn't hit to allies is with his clash winning with Merso's skill 1. The rest of the time he applies erudition himself, he's also going to apply it to his ally. So that's cool. I've also got um you on this bench because, I mean, that's just more shield, which is pretty funny. Yeah, just go for this to start out with. Take a little bit of damage, we'll be fine. Definitely would be nice getting some healing -y type stuff. Obviously, Lithograph would be very goaded for us, especially since Merso has Gluttony, so he gets a lot of value out of it. Okay, you resist this, so you're not taking too much damage. Yeah, you didn't have any Erudition there, but if you did, you wouldn't have lost any. Yeah, I think he was, was one-siding with his skill one, wasn't he? That's unfortunate. So yeah, let's just try this. 
just so we can get some erudition going here, so we get more discard stuff. Although, I guess the only issue with doing it like this is because Rodian only used skill 1s here, she didn't gain any shield, so therefore she lost some of the erudition. Because she got hit one-sidedly. But that's fine. It happens. I think we should probably just not worry about Mercedes passive too much. Because it is kind of hard to use the first two turns of a fight, because our Gloom skills are really ones we don't want to be using very frequently. Right? Mercos is kind of like a big nuke that kind of gets rid of all his erudition and insight, unless he gets the kill, in which case his insight stays a 3, but... It kind of resets him to, like, an earlier state, so it can be rough to use if you aren't ready to build your erudition and its insight back up. Yeah, nice. And then for Rodion, her skill 1 doesn't discard, so it's rough in that sense. We could always defend with Rodion to get the Gloom Res going, because her defense does discard. So that's an interesting idea. I don't know how much I'd actually want to roll with that, but we could do it. I think we just want to rely on getting Mercer to 3 insight and using a couple skill 2s, getting the erudition that way. Ooh, blunt power. Don't mind if I do. We're almost exclusively blunt. Mercer's skill 2 is pierced, but otherwise we've only got blunt on this team. Uh, do we want to enhance these? Not particularly. I might want to enhance them later in the run. But I'd rather save up my cost, do a bunch of rerolls of the upcoming shop first and foremost. See if I want to enhance any of those at a later point. Okay. Hmm. Probably not a bad play. Just doing this, yeah. Seems fairly solid. We're getting to 3 inset on Merso, so if we can get a skill 2 off next turn, that would be a lot of erudition for both of us. Would be pretty cool. Taking some damage, so that little bit of erudition we have is unlikely to remain, yep. And you're weak to Pierce, so you're taking a little bit more damage. We still maintained your erudition, so that's cool. You do not have any... I really want you to discard this. I'd rather you keep stay at 3 insight. Okay, roll with this. Uh, actual struggling... Maybe... Okay. Well, we pulled through, so that's nice. We we're only w discarding one skill this turn, so I did the defensive thing with Rodion, so that she discards skill 2 in particular, because that's a little bit better. Yeah, and there goes your erudition, that's fine. You're at three insights, so if you just have a skill two or two next turn, if, you, if Merso has two skill twos next turn, we're going to be in a great spot. That's close. Um, yeah, excellent. That's at least one, right? This will be three erudition for both of us, so that's pretty cool. Maybe do a little bit of this. Get you to 3 Insight now. You're going to lose your 3 Insight. That's going to happen no matter what, because we want to use this, though, so that's fine. We must accept it. And, of course, Guido does resist Pierce, so skill 2 him isn't the best thing to be doing, but that's fine. If we can get Compass, especially, we might be able to do some decent sinking stuff. Compass would be nice. Uh... Midwinter Nightmare, also very nice, of course. Quite a few things that would be decent for us. I don't know, though. And we can clash everything here. Gita's dead, so yeah, we're, we're set. Do a little bit of this. Sure thing. We don't really need to focus on what we do too much here. We can kind of get to whatever and get away with it. But, like, we're not getting one-sided, so we don't need to worry about clash. We don't need to worry about getting shield. You can probably just kill with a bunch of three insight skill ones, yeah. And we do have a Scorch Knowledge that was going to come out of Merso, but uh, he didn't get the chance to use it, so... Oh well, that's fine. Shh. First slow done, we get Skeletal Crumbs, which means we deal more damage and take less damage, because enemies that have Sinking. Which should happen most of the time. Gamble. No dice, darn. 
And let's see. Singing Fusion Gift doesn't really matter to us. Um, Lithograph, like I said, is nice. Health check and floor should be fine, I think. Just do this for Lithograph, I guess? Yeah. Downpour is funny, that's for sure. Could try using that for the sake of the bit. We do have some decent egos for that sense. I guess we don't have, uh, our present corrosion equipped, but we don't really need to worry too much, I don't think. Let's see what we can get here. Gray coat, obviously goaded. Contract is nice, but not what I'm looking for. I'll just take that to get it out of the pool. Do a sinking refresh, just because we might as well do at least one. Rags. I mean, that's nice. One more sinking refresh for good... I mean, to hit that. One more for good luck? No, okay. We'll grab painkillers as, like, a precaution, I guess. We didn't get any skill changes. That's fine. I'm not too concerned about that. I'd like skill changes, but... As always, DHADs are set up in a way where skill changes aren't the end-all be-all. Let's go ahead and do it. <laughs> Looking around for my dog for a second, and then I realize he's just hidden himself, like... In my bathroom, I can only see his paw sticking out. Silly boy. Okay, we do kind of need some healing here. Um, on Merso. Mm. We should have got an Oracle, probably, yeah. We can't, we don't have any pride, so we can't use your Pursuance. And of course, your Pursuance. And of course, Merso could use Pursuance because we can fuel that one right now. We've got enough prides saved from just starting with it. But that would only heal Rodeon. So that's not great. I think we're fine here. Yeah. We've got enough shield stuff going on that we're going to be fine. But we probably do need a source of healing. Oh, we, we have Great Hill Coat, that's right. We just need to get a good Scorch Knowledge, and then Merso should be able to heal up a decent bit, then. Okay. He's been staggered. This is what we have Painkillers for, though. So I don't think he's dead. Yeah, he heals up three protection. Good stuff. You're gonna be hitting him for a bunch of damage, but, like, he's fine. I think... Just kill these two. Yeah, he's taking some damage. But they're going for weak attacks. These guys aren't too scary anyways. He might genuinely have gotten, like, a net positive of HP from getting staggered because of painkillers. I think so, yeah. Nice. Well, let's do this. A little bit of study hall goings for more... Erudition shenanigans. Not that we need it at this point. We're basically set, I think. I'd like a Scorch Knowledge next turn, though, just so we can get some healing on Merso. Well, we do have a Scorch Knowledge, so that's something. More Erudition. Rags is just... Rags just means we're doing, like, a bunch more damage, which is, like, 15% more damage. What is it? Because Rags... Obviously, Rags is, like, the Suncliff uh, ego gift, usually, since it's, like, caps your sanity at negative 15 for negative sanity is. But for sinking units in general, it is fairly nice to have... Oh, thunder outside. Fun. Max HP. Okay, no, it's only 7.5% more damage to max... SP. I think I'm getting mixed up with, like, one of the burn ones. But, yeah, uh... Oh, no, I'm thinking of this. Yeah, okay, I see. But yeah, we just get more SP on Fun Clash win or do a little bit more damage. Not a lot more damage, but this means if we use an Ego, get our SP down, we can get it back up pretty easily. I think every skill we have has sinking on it. Sometimes it's just potency, I'm sure, but, like, your skill 2... Yeah, your skill 2 is just potency. So, yeah, that's good to know. We could try this out, but, like, his passive doesn't really matter to him that much. Unless an ally discards. And, of course, because your gloom skill doesn't have discard on it, yeah. 
It's a little unfortunate on that front, but that's alright. Nice. A little bit of healing from that. Not a lot, but a little. Yeah, you know, just keep on... I didn't mean to hit that, but it's going for the same thing I was going for, so that's fine. Shh. Ruin is getting one side a little bit before she gets the chance to do anything. Which happens. One HP on that guy. Alright. We'll finish him off with... Oh no, you heal because you're K-Corp guy. Right. Well, we're, we'll finish you off anyways, so that's fine. Scorch knowledge for the bit? Why not? Sounds enjoyable. Yeah, we're excruciating study this guy. We really don't need to excruciating study him for him to die, but... Like I said before, it's for the bit. Scorch knowledge, heal up a little bit of HP. Ch nice. Now Marissa is in a much better spot. Get both of us to max erudition. And that's a stagger, or that's a kill. Not just a stagger. And you should be fairly dead. Nice. Victory. Okay, we can get an event here. It might be one of the health chicken ones, which is fine. Do we gamble? I think we gamble. It's worth it. Darn. Would have been funny for damage. That's alright. We'll go for another normal fight. This floor's taking a while, it feels like. It's just because it's mostly K-Corp Bongi guys, which are tanky because, they're, well, they're K-Corp guys. Um, so it's just kind of how it tends to go. That's fine. Remember, so the three insights, so if he has a skill two here, he does. Okay, that's three air addition for both of us. Pretty cool. Should do a decent job. And we're doing some discard stuff here, so we'll have some shield. Mercer's not going to have a lot of shield. I should have checked if he was getting one-sided or anything. He probably was. But, like, not an insane amount of shield, because he discarded a... He discarded a skill one, so yeah, a decent bit of shield, really. He's unique in the fact that he actively wants to discard skill ones, primarily for the sake of shield. And the skill one gives the most shield. It messes up his insight, but it's worth it because you can set it back up again. If need be. These guys are just tanking our attacks. How rude. Nice. Okay. And do we just do this Forsaker Insight? Maybe we do this, actually. Don't really need to do the skill twos, but that's fine. Um, Ronin's not even getting one side. Yeah, that's fine. She doesn't need to get any shield this turn. Works for me. She can just go full out damage. That sort of stuff. Merso, I think, is going to tank that decently well enough. Doesn't lose erudition from getting hit at all there, so that's good. We're getting kills. Nice. Yeah, still. Set. And yeah, okay. Let's just do this full no discard turn. We could theoretically get... I'm not Clash winning here. Okay. So we're getting an 8 Insight Scorch Knowledge, so that's decent enough. It's just a damage increase. And we got a kill with it, so we got brought back to 3 Insight, so we're still chilling. Rodion should be able to finish this guy off. And nice. Victory. Okay, we get a lead encounter now, which just means it's going to be more of the same. <laughs> more cake or bong guys. We should have really gone for the folks encounter up ahead, uh, above. 
This is going to take a little bit, probably. Really wish we had some pride here, because the Pursuance would be so nice for us right about now. Just do a bunch of damage to three of them. We don't really even need the healing. I just would want it for the sake of that. But that's all right. That's how it be. When doing runs where you don't have a lot of sinners, that the main thing is just that there is a slow ramp up in each fight. So fights where the enemies are fairly are a little tanky, so it's a little harder to kill them instantly. You can definitely feel it pretty heavily. Should we get three insight? You've got a skill three coming or skill two coming next turn, so you'll be able to erudition us up. Okay, we did get a kill early this time, though, so that's good. This isn't going to do a lot of damage, because they resist Pierce. That's how it be. Tank. Nice. You lose your only erudition, that's fine. Because we can get erudition up this turn. Using this, we both get three erudition. So that's good. And we just keep on going for the strongest whatever we have at a time. And that'll probably work. I did the random shield on Merso so that he could have two insight when he scorched knowledges, so it's eight insight instead of six. I mean, it's a 5% damage increase. It can matter. It's a little bit less shield, but you should be fairly fine, I think. We've got enough skill slots at this point where we don't need to worry about that too much. Full send that. See how much damage gets dealt. A decent bet. I'm glad the lead encounters in this floor aren't just straight up taken from the Hell's Chicken Dungeon. Because if you don't remember, in the Hell's Chicken Dungeon, the lead encounters were two waves of these guys. Which just made them even slower. So I'm glad that they're only one wave in this in here. Alright. Long, long floor paw bongy time, though. Who shouldn't be too bad. Zippo Lighter is really good for us. Now we've got a Source of Pride. Excellent. Now we can potentially ego up a little bit. So, of course... Strategy here, Clash Papa Bongi, ignore the minions for a little bit, because as soon as we kill one of the minions, the bag starts doing, or the chicken back, it starts doing stuff, which we don't particularly want to happen, so we clash these. Favorite on this isn't great. That's all right. Neutral on this also isn't great, but that's all right. I believe in the power of the DHE. A little bit of erudition from winning that a clash. Cool. And we do win with that one too. Nice. So yeah, we're going to get hit by these bongies a bunch. But like, it's some SP damage, some paralysis. Same term, paralysis. It doesn't really matter. A bunch of stuff that I'm not too concerned about, really. Near 3 insight now, so we could... Actually, we could do this. Not really a bad idea. Having you go over the chicken box is probably a good plan too. Get a bunch of erudition for both of us. Get some discard going. You're gonna attack Pabongi himself, and you'll take some damage. You'll lose some erudition from that two erudition in particular, but that's worth it. I think maintain the three insight for next turn at least. Next turn we won't care about maintaining Mercos erudition. I'll have two skill slots. Might be able to do more skill twos for more erudition. That sort of thing. Yeah, some damage in the chicken bucket. That's fine. You're blocking this same turn paralysis. Once again, really doesn't do too much. And now we could do a little bit of this. We could scorch knowledge if we wanted to. Sure thing. It's about time we kill the annoying one, I think. Oh, actually, you've got to clash the that. All right, that works. Let's just do that, sure thing. 
max erudition, max insight, so we are going to get a maximum power scorch knowledge off here against the body. So that's pretty cool. It didn't do a lot of damage because he resists it. And also we have yet to take out the the Wangy with a hat, so he's still super defensive. No more chicken bucket though, so now we can freely kill the Bongies. And we've got five skill slots next turn, so we can just clash everything from here on out. So we can do like something like uh this and this and yeah this will work. Just keep on going for strong attacks on the one with the hat. With the hopes of, you know, killing him to get rid of the annoying two protection on everyone. Otherwise, just kind of doing whatever though, right? Don't need to worry about shield now since we're clashing everything. So we could just get to three inside and then keep it that way. And it's not the worst idea. Okay, you got two tails. God, the rain of Sandy Drain is proving to be a little bit of a hassle. We could go all in on Pop Bongi next turn. He's going to get staggered. Yeah. Honestly, it doesn't seem like the worst idea. Maybe we pop some, like, weights and knowledge on this guy, though, for good luck. All right, send that. Should work pretty well. We don't have any skill threes on Mursa, so he's not going to have good insight here. And that's just kind of something we have to accept. Next turn, we can really try killing Bob Bongi. Because... No more protection. We'll throw, like, some weights of knowledge at U2, maybe. U2s. Kind of warrants a little more than that, hmm. Alright, we try something like this, maybe. Something like this, maybe. See if we can do enough damage that way to kill everything this turn. Would be cool. Nice. Nice. And well, we're double scorch knowledging this, right? First one's the stronger of the two because we actually had the erudition to spend. And second one brings you to three insight because it kills. <laughs> Not that it makes a difference, but funny regardless. Now we get lithograph, so there's our big source of healing. So we're looking pretty good. It's, it's, we're, you know, half an hour in and it's only been two floors, but you know, who's counting? I am. The game's also counting. It's going to say floor three here, so it's clearly counting. Mm. Gift sack is funny. Don't get me wrong. I think this floor wouldn't be fun. Right week, envy week. Eh, I don't feel any of these. Give me something funny, maybe. Faith. That's actually pretty funny. Yeah, let's go for it. Why not? I feel like I don't get faith too frequently. It's not like particularly needed on a team like this. But it's cool. Oh yeah, we can get... More damage. More SP healing too, but that's not really what matters. More damage. More sinking. More damage. Sure. Um, yeah, we really need some EU gifts that help our sinking out, though. We'll have to rely on next floor shop for that, I guess. None of the options we were seeing were really anything good for us. We could have just grabbed, gone for, like, Red Cheat or something, or Red Order or something, just for the sake of it, really. It might not have been the worst idea. Yeah, just Rhyme Shank these guys. Rhyme Shank's also not bad. <laughs> We do have it. It's good sinking. It's one of the... Is it the only you if we can fully fuel on this team? It might be. It probably is. We have a lot of egos that require pride on this team. Because, like... I guess we do have, uh... I need to remember, we do have Sip a Lighter now. So we do actually have a way to gain more resources, stuff we don't have. We just haven't gained a lot of them yet. Because it is a little slow, of course. It primarily targets Gloom, which is something we already have in spades. And we're going to keep on getting in spades now. So that's pretty funny. 
Banger. We're doing, we're popping like skill threes and super strong attacks and stuff on enemies that have like two HP, so that's pretty fun. Scorch knowledge kills you, so we get to three the insight. We discard something here, so it doesn't matter. We get hit by a, one of your attacks. Some plus going down. Little rude, but it doesn't matter because we just kill you this turn. You are weak to blunt. And that, of course, is your downfall. Nice. Ooh, event. Cool. Okay. More SP draining abilities for us. That's pretty funny. I'll go for a normal encounter, because why not? I feel like I don't think I even noticed, like, we haven't had more than 13 status effects on anyone so far this run. We're also not doing, you know, a team built to actually benefit from that. Or to trigger that so it makes sense, but, like, still, I haven't seen it yet, so the status effects have mostly been fine so far. I'm curious how it does look. I'm sure someone's done it already at this point, though, right? Because status effects have been changed, so they look a little weird now, if you have a lot of them. It's just kind of, like, compacted a little differently, a bit more box-shaped than fan-shaped. Which makes a lot of sense. It's a lot more readable that way, I'm sure. Shouldn't make too big of a difference most of the time. Like, we've already noticed the shield HP, like, displaying things well. They also changed... I have no body part display stuff, which is interesting. Like, it now, like, tells you how many turns body parts have until they get, like, regrown, if they are regrown part, or shows you if it's never going to regrow, that sort of thing, which is good information to have. And I'm kind of confused why it has not existed until now. <laughs> yeah. Body parts and abnos are still really weird. I feel like it's still a super underutilized feature most of the time. Like, if I'm not mistaken, didn't every single railway abno this railway only have one body part? Shh. Like, sheep had, like, the second target thing, I know that, but that wasn't different body part. I'm pretty sure sheep was only one target. Was it a body and head situation? I don't know. If it was, it didn't matter. I'm pretty sure it wasn't, though. Obviously, portrait. I guess portrait had, like, the six portrait sync, but that was all a single body part, I'm pretty sure. They just had correlating slots. King and binds, you could only target his body. No, 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 like, throne or anything, which is weird. I don't know. And that was, of course, a big thing with Kanto 6, too, is because, like, we only fought normal fights the only fight in the entirety of canto 6 that had multiple body parts was heathcliff the heartbreaking and even then like within the first few turns of the fight you'd like to have destroyed one of the body parts so it'd basically only have one body part again God. this floor has so many middle guys on it a little bit silly here is blunt so that's nice at least and they're exclusively blunt. Yeah. That's good, at least. Stagger these guys. That's also nice, because middle guys are pretty easy to stagger. They've got a pretty early stagger threshold. So as long as you can just kill them after staggering them, they're pretty good. If you don't kill them, it can be a little rough, since they're, you know, no longer have a stagger threshold anywhere nearby, and they're still, like, two-thirds HP. But it's mostly pretty fine. Because you stagger them, we do a bunch of damage, and next turn we finish them off. That's how it goes. This one's getting finished off this turn. And we do have a Scorch Knowledge onto this guy who's still full HP. To make sure that you may be at full HP, but you are not doing very well. At 90 HP, just go for the strong attacks and finish them off. Cool. And that guy takes a few more hits, but still pretty cool. Victory.
Yeah, more, more, more middle guys. I don't know what I expected going for another blunt weak fight. Um, it's more middle guys. Wow. <laughs> Who would have thought? Nice blocking. You lose your addition anyway, so it doesn't matter. You've got six damage down this turn. Jeez. Okay. Uh, that's a little unfortunate. We also did trigger his passive, but it's not doing anything here because, well, Rodin's not discarding anything. So that's pretty cool. Okay, you, you, you don't have six damage down this turn. Instead, you have four plus coin drop. Which means you've got plus zero to most of your skills, basically. How cool is that? Well, I guess just try that. Maybe you can do something? No. Okay. Well, you're just shielding. So that's something. You're getting hit by basically every attack before you get to use your shield, of course, because that's how it works, but... Um, okay, now you've got four damage down and two paralysis. Which means you can probably win these. We'll see, I guess. Maybe I'm being overconfident, but... Who knows? Overconfidence is a slow yet insidious killer, isn't that right? Okay, nice. Merso did win that, so that's pretty cool. And this guy's just kind of guarding. Kind of rude. I wish, I wish you'd stop that. Roll with that. We should no longer get hit, so we should no longer get all the damage downs and the coin drops and the paralysis and all that sort of annoying stuff, so that's good. Stagger both the enemies this turn, cool. Probably kill them both this turn because we still have two skill threes left. Yeah, this one dies to this one. Does the other one die to this skill three? Yeah, cool. That works then. Okay, and we get an event. Carmilla. I mean, don't mind if I do. Pretty funny. All right. You think you're so funny, game. You think you're so funny. Let's kill this guy again. Well, we've, we've seen this fight once before. It's going to go about the exact same. Uh, that's a promise. Because it's just Papa Bongi again. Maybe this time we focus the hack guy down a little harder. Eh, I don't really know. We could ego this fight if we wanted to. Not the worst idea, I guess. SP damage, riveting. Uh, okay. Just do something like this here. You don't have any skill twos ready, so yeah, that works. Rodian's is gonna keep on being on hit clash the big guy duty. Merso's gonna be on one side attack the bucket duty. We're actually getting some decent sinking going there, so that's cool. Maybe we just like stick to decent sinking attacks with the against the body. Which means, like, Rodion skill 3, Merso skill 1. Yeah. Maybe. Could just focus on killing, though. I do like a good murder. Sure, this works. Six erudition here, so that's pretty cool. Pierce damage, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, Weight of Knowledge is really bad for this guy's sinking, but he'll still be fine after this, I think. We can Rhyme Shank, right? That'll work. Probably. Hmm. Oh yeah, Rhyme Shank. Rhyme Shank. Yeah, Rhyme Shank this. We'll, like, skill three this. And otherwise, we're getting to the point where we're just gonna hit these guys, I think. 
Sure, it looks good. Didn't bother creating Ramshank, even though we could have tried and see who it targeted, because, like, we don't really need the big SP loss. We'll be fine either way. We're about to get Faith, which will make Rhymeshank even more spammable than it usually is, which is pretty funny. I mean, you have, like, commemorative coin as well. We could really lean into the Rhymeshank for the sake of the bit. Which isn't the worst idea. Maybe we should have tried to manipulate Rhymeshank to hit the one with the hat. Might have actually been a smart move. Okay. Right, well, you didn't win that class. You don't actually get to maintain sinking, so that's pretty cool. Shouldn't make too big of a difference at this point, though. Excruciating study you, excruciating study you. Clash you. Sure. That'll work. You're trying to guard yourself. You cannot block yourself, though. You are doomed. You are going to perish here. The sinking's helping out quite nicely. And that's a win. Nice. I don't think there's physically any way we can fight Podbongi again this run, though. So I think at this point we are good. Oh, there's Compass for free. Don't mind if I do. Gamble? No dice. We failed three gambles so far. That's bad luck. Um, we could go Unchanging for Midwinter Nightmare. Or we could go, uh... Evil Defining for Midwinter Nightmare. Or we could be smart for Midwinter Nightmare. I think we gotta go Evil Defining, though. We're tanks. We can handle whatever gets thrown at us. Maybe. <laughs> Keyword being maybe. Oh, Distant Star, that's nice. Merso skill change. We can get him more skill twos. Which is probably a pretty good choice, especially since we're going into a fight where we're going to want to have some decent pierce damage. I think I'll do that. Flash power for skill 2, see. A little bit of shield first turn, not a lot. Yeah. Don't even know if there's what I'm really looking for at this point. We've got all of the tier 3s. I guess we should sell some stuff here, though. Stuff that genuinely does nothing for us? Interesting enough, everything we have does something for us, huh? That's interesting. Real interesting, actually. Don't say that too frequently. Well, we don't need lowest star. It's just more SP damage that we're not going to need. Carmel is nice, so I'll keep it for now. I just want to sell more stuff, but I don't really want to sell anything I have. That's unfortunate. And the reason for that is I want to sell stuff so I can, like, upgrade my EU gifts and stuff at the end of this floor. Well, we'll take this. I mean, can we take this even? Unlikely. Yeah. I think I she's the one who takes the answer to that, yeah. Well, yeah, unfortunate. Well, we can grab... NDA is not going to be great for us, because NDA, I'm pretty sure, is taking... Is NDA being hit or taking HP damage? I don't remember. I feel like I asked this recently, and I've already forgotten. Well, we'll take the... Alright. Well, at least we don't get brutally murdered for that. So that's at least something. Alright, quick break later. Back to it. Yeah, uh, we should be mostly fine, I think, hopefully. Okay, just gluttony back into a little simple enough. Now that we've got compass, they've got some decent singing to start out with, we could potentially get something running from that. Maybe. Actually, we kind of got to be careful what we redirect. Definitely redirect the three coin ones, and the ones going for Merso especially, since Merso is weak to Slash and Gluttony, aka Merso, um... Would rather not getting hit here, I think. Just, you know, just a hunch, right? This shouldn't be too bad, though. Shame it's Pekka Tool that we don't have, you know, any good counters against. These ones also resist both Gloom and Gluttony, so Merso's skill 2 is the only one that isn't resisted. <laughs> For Merso, at least. Rodion's got... Rodion just can't use her skill 1 without 
it being resisted. Which is fine. Tanking, nice. Good stuff, get your blunt damage up going, you've got faith so that you... Did you lose sanity there? I didn't notice it. You probably did though, or something. I don't know. And you've got aggro now, so you're redirecting this stuff. Cool beans. Just clash the strong one, yeah. Hopeless. Ooh. That's not very good. Okay. Well, hopefully that's fine. Shh. God. Floor 4, and you know, enemies are starting to roll a little high. It's how it goes, isn't it? That's fine, we can handle it. Do we not have- oh right. I forgot, we don't have Midwinter Nightmare yet. We're getting that next floor. For off for a second. Okay, blocking, nice. More blood damage up, nice. Okay, I mean, clash everything now, and we've got good skills so we can reasonably clash everything now. Immediate max erudition, so that we're doing nice and well. I really love how his skill 2 erudition is turn start. Like, it's such a strange thing, but it works so well. You can just get the erudition at turn start instead of requiring you to be the skill... It means that it works weird with insight, effectively only caring about how your insight is at turn start to change how much erudition you get instead of it being, you know, when you use the skill. Okay, should be able to kill these guys here without too much hassle. Something like this. Good work, Wonders. Kill that guy. Kill this guy. Gloom resistant mean gloom resist means nothing to us. And down you go, cool. Okay. We're still doing well at this point. Well let's see how the rest of this floor goes, because Rodion is weak to Pierce. Although she's a lot better at getting shield going. I guess the big question here is if we do get the quad trio. I mean to hit that. If we do Okay, four failures so far. Um if we do get the quad trio, which of the two would we want to take the assist attack, or not the assist, like the prey mark? Because Rodion is weak to Pierce and therefore would take more damage a lot of the time. So you're weak to Gluttony, so uh, Starbuck could kill you. Hmm. Oh, that's rough. Oh, we can just pop a Pursuance here. That should be fine. Yeah, sure. Um, hmm. These guys are close to being staggered, so I'm not too concerned. So yeah, Merso's neutral to Pierce, but he's not quite as good at getting a lot of shields going. So I guess it really depends. We'll have to use Eagles and stuff, see if we can change our sin resistances and stuff to get into a decent position. We'll see. You've got some bleed. Not enough for me to be too concerned, I don't think. We can clash everything this turn, so we should be doing good. Get some more staggers, get some good damage going. Do you just kill this guy? Not quite, almost, though. Darn. Yeah, your shield is taking all the bleed damage, though, so that's good. And now we're going to take some one-sides this turn. Maybe, actually. I guess it depends. Oh, you need to defend. Unfortunate. But that's fine. I'm fine with just defending. We can handle it. These guys are getting some bleed and stuff going on, but once again, we've got the shield to not need to worry whatsoever. And just pop this. Winning all our clashes seems good. You die, and then these guys are weak to pierce, so the Merso skill 2 is a fairly nice to have. We'll have to see if we get to use them much at all, though, because Rodion might just go on a rampage herself without needing Merso to do too much of anything. Okay. That guy's not quite dead yet, though. Yeah, Mercer just needs to finish off that one guy. And then we'll be set. Nice. Okay. Press on. This is going to be a thousand strand mermaids, which... Means we'd lose a lot of SP, but we've got faith, so we don't really care. Yeah, cool. We can handle a thousand strand decently. They're mostly blunt. A little bit of pierce, but mostly blunt. Go for that. 
A little bit of erudition, not a lot, but it's something. Sure. Yeah, we're handling it. Four paralysis next turn, that's a little rough. Yeah, yeah. I think we acknowledge still wins though, because you use this once and it gets rid of all the paralysis. Okay. Yeah. And so we're perfectly fine. And these guys are weak to envy, so weight of knowledge is kind of a good skill for us to be using anyways, so that's good. They do resist gloom though, so illuminate thy vacuity is resisted. We're resisting their attacks too though, so it works out. What are we thinking? I mean, Pierce attacks are just always the good choice against Pierce weak enemies. And it gets us a good bit of erudition. Only we're at one inside of turn start, so not a lot of erudition, but it's something. Okay, yeah, you can tank that. Four paralysis next turn, though, not very fun. Especially since you don't have quite as many coins as Rodeon, because, you know, you've got regret, so PM couldn't. didn't feel like it would be a good move to do that, which, I mean, makes enough sense, I guess. Kind of lame, but that's fine. Only one paralysis left, though, so you win your other clash. I need to know if it was another clash or was it one-sided. I guess we'll see. It was a clash, so yes, yeah, so you win this one. You get the one clash power from Erudition. Not making too big of a difference. It's only a one clash power up, but it's fairly easy to proc, so... It's just like a nice little bonus thing Erudition does for you, right? If you discard something at two or three insight... You just get one clash power up. Which, yeah, that's that's cool. Kind of means that you can get some benefits for getting brought down to insight one when you're at high insight by getting the clash power. A uh, risky encounter, folk or elite encounter. This is probably a bad idea. This is going to be Piquad Town. It's only Pierce Week, so it basically has Piquad Town. Yeah. You may be wondering, why would I go for it if it's Pequod Town? Uh, good question. We're, 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 we're goaded, I think. That's the reason why. Do not have any Pierce Ego on this team. Not in the slightest. Okay, that's a little scary. We can pull out some stronger Egos, though. We can just double Pursuance. That works. It's not like a, like a great move, but like we win the clashes. Mercos gives us a little bit of protection. Rodion's gives us a little bit of shield. So it should help out. Just not taking too much damage. Probably a good idea here. We should be able to stagger some of these guys without too much hassle. We've got Carmilla working in our favor, so that's nice. I don't think it doesn't seem like we staggered anyone here though. Yeah. Their stagger bar is not super easy to hit. Okay. That's fine. A little less fine, but it's better than Rodian. Rodian would have been weak to that, so yeah. Okay. That works. Dodge. Eh. Rhyme Shank is fairly good for us. They resist Blunt, though. Yeah. Still probably a good play, just for not spending too many resources. I guess we can fuel chain of others easily. That's something. I'll pop one pursuit, though. So his is only two pride compared to Rodion's three. Although his is blunt, though, so it's going to do less damage than Rodion's. That's fine. Mercer's the one who needs healing more, though. Yeah, that's right. I forgot about that part. Well, Mercer will heal up thanks to Grey Coat here. Hopefully, hopefully a decent little bit. Not like a lot, but... It's still 20% of the damage he deals, so... Yeah, not a lot. That's okay. He gets staggers, though, so lethograph triggers, which heals him a bunch. Oh, that's rough. That's real rough. Okay, we're good, though. And we should be set now, I think. Don't think that is going to do too much to us. We're going to stagger a bunch of them. We didn't need to ego here because we stagger this guy. Or was the... No, I think it was the next guy that we're egoing. Probably. 
Yeah, it was, okay. Well, it's the only thing we need to ego to win the clash, so that's fine. Prime Shing means these guys have a decent bit of sinking, which is not great for us. You don't really want to sinking these guys because they've got, you know, protect the town negative coin stuff going on. We've got a lot of sinking, so it's going to happen no matter what, but not really great for us. Moment of Erudition, you're weak to Pierce. So the only Pierce attack we have on our entire team is your skill too, even when factoring in egos, which is a little silly. Are you Sloth or Resistant right now? Does Pursuance do that for you? It does. It does it for both of you guys, actually. Okay, does both of your... Yeah, huh. I don't really think I looked at it before, but yeah, both of your... Oh no, it's slightly different. But it's the same type of stuff. Yeah. Because it's Resist Sloth, Resist Pride. Yours is more Sloth than Pride, and yours is more Pride than Sloth, though. Okay. Not the worst thing to have going for us. I suppose. Okay, this guy's getting some one-side attacks off. I'm not too concerned about it, though, because you're getting Protect the Town, and you can handle Protect the Town. But it is funny how Pursuance has the exact same weaknesses as Chains of Others, being Gluttony and Lust. So it's really not good on that front. It's got better resistances than Chains of Others, of course, though, so... It's not like a completely bad idea. Can okay, we win here? Our pride is at three. We do not have a lot of pride left. Which is bad because, like I said before, a lot of our egos require pride. If we could just get Grand Welcome, that could be really good for us then. Because we're going to need to ego a lot going forwards. Gamble? Still no, this one's a 50% chance and I still failed. That's unfortunate. We don't have every sinking ego gift, do we? Well, we don't, because that one could have been tier fours. Yeah. Hmm. I'll just go for the Pegatula. It'll probably be easier. And it's just going to be Wrath, it looked like. Blunt, Gloom, Lust. So it's going to be four Wraths. Yeah. Which do roll pretty high. So that's something to keep in mind. Favorites, yeah. Shh. That's not anything, at least. We'll let Mercer get one-sided because he's neutral to it. Cool, good stuff. And... Shield doesn't break from that. It's going to break from this, though. So you do lose Erudition, and that's fine. There was only one Erudition, right? That's bearable. Oh, this isn't a great turn. Hmm. Yeah. I think I'm just going to accept getting one-sided a little bit here and there. Because of the Explosive Wrath, we really can't clash with much of anything. So we're just going to let it go through. It doesn't do as much damage as the other skull simply because it's a one coin, but... We should be fine. It might break Rodion's shield here. She might take some damage. We'll kill the staggered guy here, though, with the excruciating study. Probably should have killed it with the skill, too, honestly, if you were being smart. Oh, no, it didn't break the shield, because we had enough of it. Okay, cool. Double Scorch Knowledge. Throw in one of these for good luck. Throw in one of these for good luck. We'll get some erudition. Thanks to the passive. Not if Mercer goes first, which he does, because he's higher speed, right? Well, Scorch Knowledge kills these guys pretty easily. Did we not get... Did we get a kill and then stay at... Huh? Is there a conditional I wasn't paying attention to there? I thought when he killed with his skill 3, no matter how many coins it took, he'd get to 3 insight. Why was he at 2 insight still? That was weird. I don't know. Is it only with... I don't know. Oh, well, it doesn't make too big of a difference. Compass plus plus. We gaming. Carmilla plus plus. Probably worth it. And we could get that to plus plus, but we don't really need to. All right, it's time for the fun. It's, yeah, Limbus has been weird lately. What's going on? Okay, that's fine. Oh, that is Pequod Trio, though. Yeah, I've been having some weird errors as of late, even before the last night's update, so. Who knows? Pick Quadrio time, though. 
This is gonna be fun. Okay, that we need to be worried about. Which one? This one? Yeah. These two are we clash with immediately. And we will ego if need be, and it's looking like need be. Let's just be... Oh, we can't even redirect it to be hit Ahab at all, can we? Well, that's fine. We clash these two, because this one, you know, reuses coin once, um, can be scary. Can hit a lot of times, you're not careful. We're gonna get some bleed count on you, we're gonna get some bleed. Yeah, we're getting some random bleed infliction going on here. I think we're relatively fine with this, though. Do we really want to pursue into this, actually? We could rhyme shank it, that's probably the smarter move, yeah. Get some sinking, sure. <laughs> we're only going for awakening once again, because... I don't really want to spam corrosions too much. I could try it just to see if we do get lucky and it hits the right person, but... Eh. Get some sinking stacked on you too. If we can get you guys to low sandy, that would be pretty strong. You're weak to Pierce, but you can handle it. I mean, both of us are currently weak to Starbuck, effectively. Because you're weak to Pierce, you're weak to Gluttony. What does Rhyme Shanks do with those? Hmm. Okay. I want to try having you take the assist attack. I think that's probably the best move. And then you're going to clash against well, those two things again. Yeah, sure. To me. Yeah, sure thing. Hit you a little bit. Oh god, we're gonna have to, we haven't staggered Starbuck yet, though. That's the big issue with this team. Cause normally you would already have staggered Starbuck by this point if you were playing well. Um I guess we can get Starbuck to lowest sanity though with this, hopefully. Eh, her singing potency isn't great though. Okay, that's fine. You're getting a little more bleed. You're still able to handle it, though. Yeah. Yeah, you have a funny assist attack going on right now. Does not have an icon. Oh, it's one of these, right? Yeah. Could you get more than zero spirit to activate assist attack? Okay, I'd really love to be able to just... Not worry about that. I don't know if we've got a good way to stagger you, though. Yeah, I don't think we really do. That's unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. Do we just want to go all in on Queequeg? Not a bad idea. How well are you going to be tanking this turn? Meh. Discard two. That's nice. Well, let's try this. We get Study Hall going, get some decent erudition potentially, get some degree of shield going on. Get rid of your erudition to do some funny damage. We do break, no matter what, we were going to break this here, just because we've got a lot of good blunt damage on this team. So, like, that really was not my concern whatsoever. It's mostly that Merso is getting hit a lot here. You are currently 0.5 to Sloth, though, so I Follow Orders is doing very little. It is more bleed, though, so that's still rude. Yeah, you did break our shield, but not by, like, a very large margin, all things considered. Yeah, you go for that a little bit. Get some more erudition, not a lot, but it's something. And let's just keep on taking Queequeg. I might try killing her. Just to get her out of the way, right? It's not the worst plan. Starbuck, we definitely want dead, though. <laughs> nice, there's the stagger. Merso's still doubling up on Starbuck, so... It'll be pretty good. Nice. And you're still just defending, yeah. That's fine. We'll let you guys. We'll let you have fun with that, right? 
Uh, we can just... I'd like to keep you at that insight for now. So I'm just gonna do this, I think? Yeah, that works. Cool. Should be solid. I know Queen Quake heals like half her HP as soon as we do take her down, don't worry. I'm more than aware of that. I'm just really not that concerned. We can ungabunga her to death if need be. A little bit of pallid panic. You're doing your funny tangle and net thing. Doesn't really do much for you here. Prey mark next turn. Cool. We can handle that. Uh, do we want to keep you a three insight at this point? Maybe. We can do this. Yeah, that'll work. And then you, we could get you to three insight here. Just because it's nice to have. Hmm. Yeah, you kind of need to do that. That's fine, we won't bother with your insight right now then. Do this, do this, one side you, and then you are on this guide duty. Okay, that's a little bit uh, unfortunate. We can ego though. Just chains of others you just to weaken you. Yeah, sure. I'll take it. Yeah, Persistent Hartoon. This is where the sinking is a little bit unfortunate for us. It means you're rolling really high with this attack, and we need to roll perfectly every time, otherwise we basically just lose. Luckily, Rodian is more than capable of doing that. Okay, Chains of Others, doing well here. Just kind of the attack power down you next turn. It's also protection next turn, so Merso is really going to be fine. <laughs> to me. To you. Undefiable command, yeah. I mean, that's nice. <laughs> Hmm. Okay, can we win some clashes with you? Probably not super easily. A tempering of death doesn't exactly sound nice now, does it? We do something like this then, yeah. Alright, we can do that, maintain that, because why not? We'll probably drop his insight soon though. Oh, we're also debuffing you thanks to the passive. I always forget about the Rhyme Shank passive, but it's so good. It's the kind of thing I really probably shouldn't forget about nearly as much as I do. More sinking. I think we... Do we get to trigger your passive this turn? Maybe. Maybe not. We'll see, I guess. Moment of erudition. Almost, cool. Sure, let's just hit you a bunch. That'll probably work. Yeah, I want to clash with that. Sure, cool. Take you down to zero. Oh wait, we already triggered it. Oh. I don't know how I missed that, huh? We already triggered her passive. Okay. I mean, I won't. I won't complain. I'll gladly take it. I guess we were doing a lot better than I thought we were for some reason. Hmm. Cool. Well, you should be able to die here, so that's pretty nice. Do some good damage. You're staggered, so we're doing good damage. This is only floor four, by the way. We still have another floor left after this. Huh. And moment of erudition, and then finish you off with a little bit of scorch knowledge. Oh, no, you've got 10 HP left. Okay, killer, you know? Cool. There we go. Yeah, long... I have fight. Long Pequadrio. It happens.
We do finally get Midwinter Nightmare here, though. Final power plus 2, max HP plus 25%. That's bearable. Uh, sure. Just grab something random here. We're grabbing Barbed Snare, because it's nice. Gamble? Give me a tier 4. Oh, no, we still need a Red Order. Okay. Cool. Well, we finally won one of those, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we could go Gas Harp. <laughs> it's a funny idea. It really is. Oh, Mountain of Corpse of Sea of Blood is really funny, though. Do we roll with it? I think so. I don't think... I still... I, uh, I still don't think I've fought uh, Spiral of Contempt in Mirror Dungeon. Barring, like, events and stuff. I think every time I've chosen this floor, I've just gotten Chromer. Which is funny. We really didn't need that. Yeah. Rodeon skill change, though. Skill 1 to skill 3. Let's go. Kind of late for the... What else do I want? If we can get, like, some sinking tier 4, that could be pretty cool. Oh, we're still missing you. Cool. Temporal Bridal actually is blunt damage up. Yeah, we'll take it. Okay. Seems good. Event. More money. Money. Oh, 50-50. Let's go, Chef Gregor. You're, you're the goat. You got this. He is goaded. Cool. More cost. That's what we need on this floor. Uh, Pierce Week. This is probably Pequod Town, isn't it? I get a strange sense that this might just be Pequod Town again. Okay, no, it's Pilidified Pirates. Well, that's bearable then. Let's kill him. Nice. We're not really just straight up killing them because uh, they're a little bit tanky for our liking, but that's fine. Roll with this. They're a little tanky. They're not tanky. What am I trying to say? I don't know. Yeah, um, our sinking is kind of going to be the downfall of us because we're not going to be able to beat these guys, are we? Huh. Well, we can beat some of them. And we can almost stagger some of them, but those guys are at like negative 45 sanity now, which is really bad for us. Pulse Lothras, see how that goes. Okay, we win that clash. We might be able to kill this guy? Yeah, good. Blunt resist, but we still pull through, so that's good. Nice. Enjoy your negative 45 sanity, idiot. Another stagger, good stuff. We get hit a little bit, but that's fine. Because there's only three left, yep. Alright, send it. Kill these guys. God, as per usual, now that we've got decent sinking actual output because we have Midwinter Nightmare, um, it's so sad watching us fight normal fights because there's such big numbers and we're doing so little damage because the big numbers are just SP numbers. That's fine. You die this turn. You can get that study hall going. Let's go, Erudition. Once again, not a situation where it matters at all. But it's still funny to say. Hmm. I want another event. Don't mind if I do. Bleed. Yippee. Oh, uh, this is nice for our egos, I guess. Our egos now... Inflict bleed. And it's a little bit of defense level down. It's like, what, two defense level down or something? Yeah. It's two defense level down for two turns. Because it's the current turn and until the end of the next turn. So that's something. Okay, it's more of you. Why exactly are you guys... I guess you guys are bleed, yeah. I guess you are. I feel like I say this before other times when I've seen them on this floor. We're also getting washed by these guys. We are not winning a clash here. Have we finally met our match? Uh, Rodion, Pursuance, please. Kill these guys. Slothrez, for the bit. And... 
slash through these guys, they're weak to slash, so that's that feels nice after they just kind of wailed on us a bunch last turn, just brutally murdering them. It's it's like therapeutic, I think. A lot of tails, but that's fine. Their sanity gets maxed next turn anyway, thanks to Faith, so I'm not too concerned. Study Hall again, because why not? Get some discard going. And we scorch some more knowledge. The two insight scorched knowledge. Incredible stuff, really. Did we discard after we scorch knowledge, I guess? I assume so. Makes enough sense, I guess. We still... Uh, either we straight up haven't gotten 13 debuffs on an enemy, which is very likely, or it did happen, I didn't notice it. I think if it ever were to happen on us at all, a DHU team is fairly likely for it to happen, since we innately have insight and basically always have erudition. We've always got damage up, offense level up and blunt damage up thanks to the, the watches, uh, whatever it's called. But yeah, we still haven't seen, like, the block display when you have a lot of status effects. I mean, might not this run. I also forgot to look in any app notes to see, like, how the body parts stuff work. Like, how that UI looks now. And, like, Paul Bong, you would have been a good time to look at that, because he's got a very clearly destructible body part. That's fine. Okay, another potentially identical fight coming up. Hmm. Cool. Is Merso, yeah, Merso loses these. Okay, I should probably just pursue ins with Rodion again. Kill these guys, you know? God, yeah, especially since they're taking so much damage, jeez. Yeah, pursuance, we're gonna discard the other skill three if we do this. That's fine. Small price to pay in order to brutally murder these guys with a scroll. Yeah. Just slicing them in ha in twain with like a paper scroll with, a, with, a, with, a, with some papyrus parchment paper. Blocked, blocked. Oh, I guess we're weak to slash, so we didn't really block that too well. But you know, we're weak to slash and lust, so we really didn't block that very well. But that's that's to be expected. Illuminate thy vacuity, and then we're double scorch knowledgeing this guy. Once again, it's only two insight scorch knowledge. Yeah, no scorch knowledge just straight up isn't working. What's going on? Huh? I've been trying to pay him this entire time, but, like, let me look at this real quick. There's no discard or anything. Oh, it's 4 plus insight reset value to 1. Oh! I didn't realize that. Huh. So if you just remain at 3 insight, you can keep 3 insight. I completely missed this part. I just assumed it reset value to 1 after attack guaranteed. Oh. There's a lot to this idea. Hmm. Makes sense then. But that means you could purposely get shenanigans off with it. Like if you're at like one insight and two erudition or something like from winning a skill one clash. Then you could just get to three insight by playing your skill three instead of discarding it. Which is a real interesting idea. It's kind of hard to manage... A lot of that type of stuff is really hard to use with this guy, because his passive, whenever it's active, is going to kind of be like a issue some of the times, because it'll get his insight a little higher or a little lower, depending on how turn order stuff goes, which isn't always the most predictable. Okay, you're just chilling here. You are bleed, so yeah, it makes sense. And you guys are technically bleed so yeah it makes sense i get it 
you win this one. I'm still gonna pursue into these guys just because I can. And it would do good damage. Should I be going for the neutral with Merso? Maybe not. I like it though. I like the gamble. The, the, the snake guys are weak to pierce and sloth, so Merso's seal 2 is great for them. Assuming he wins his clash. Oh, they've got so much HP. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. That's unfortunate. Also unfortunate you didn't stagger those guys. We can't really afford to spam Ego anymore, though, because we don't have the pride for it. Yeah. That's okay. It can just be like a kill these guys type of turn. Ignore Snake Guy because he's just blocking. Hopefully win these clashes. It's neutrals once again. But like, look at that sinking. Look at that sinking. It's good damage. Good damage. Okay. 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 That's fine. We resist it. And Marissa wins his. So that's cool. Oh, yeah, we're in a good spot. And we can clash everything now, guaranteed. Oh, you've got second skill slot now. Not quite then, I guess, but you're just defending this turn, so... I just want a double moment of erudition you, though, for fun. Funsies. Probably not, though. Let's all air edition this way. I'll, yeah, let's just try killing the Pegatula this turn. Snake Guy is just kind of sitting around defending. He can do that if he wants. I'm not one to judge. He can, you know, just bathe in just watching his weird fleshy allies die. It's up to him, right? I appreciate that you're just standing around doing nothing. Because it is very nice for us. This means we can just wallop you to death instead. And that's pretty nice. We get the erudition from winning the clash with skill one. I don't even know if we needed it. I wasn't even paying that much attention to Merso's erudition. That's a kill. That's a break. Didn't get the discard there, but that's fine. Kind of beneficial that we didn't. All things considered... We can do this. Sure. Seems like a fun move. Pop one of those just so we get the resonance going. Yeah, sure. Strong Scorch Knowledge time. Insight 3 Scorch Knowledge. Blunt Resist. Cool. I should have seen it coming, but that's fine. Because you should just die this turn from the excruciating studies. They're going to stack more singing because excruciating study is plus on singing count. You just died to a single one of them, though. Specifically, the last one instead of the fourth one, but... <laughs> Turn order. You know how it is. Nebulizer. Sure thing. We really aren't looking for much of anything at this point, barring, like, maybe a lucky... I guess we'll grab a skill change for you. Grab another one of those. Hmm... I'll do a sinking refresh. No dice, that's fine. We could have kept on rolling, maybe gotten a sinking tier 4. Either one of them would be vaguely nice, I guess, but not a very big deal whatsoever. We can't upgrade that. We can upgrade Red Order, though. Riveting. Alright, what's our boss? Um... Might be Chromer? I think it could be either Chromer or Spiral. Okay. I don't have the music ready. Uh, give me a second then. Okay. Already quite a few strugglings. That's a little unfortunate. Um, let me grab my sneaky snitch. It's taking a second because there's an ad, but... uh. Oh yeah, I need to mute the music here, don't I? There we go, cool. Alright, classic Chromer music. You've got a lot of syncing, so that's nice. Uh, that's a neutral. Hmm. We... Probably want to redirect that one. We go for the neutral? I guess we should. 
Simply, if we can get through this without needing to use too many egos, that would be nice. Okay, we probably should have egoed though. Because uh, we cannot beat your evade. Which reduces our own sanity, which is rude. Yeah. Okay, well. Um. That's a fun start. Pretty cool. Who do we like at gazed? Hmm. I guess we'll let Marceau get gazed, sure. We're gonna get dodged again, aren't we? That's fine. Okay, no, we didn't get dodged there. That's cool, at least. Singing does physical damage to you, so we're gonna rely on that pretty heavily. But, like, yeah. You're rolling a little high to not be spamming egos against. Cool, we won that one, at least. So that's nice. You got two heads, though. You've got 50-50 heads chance. If you just rolled tails a little more frequently, that would be nice, I think. And we need to clash against those two. And we need to ego them, but that's fine. We'll rhyme shank one of them. What is cast the other? And that should work. But yeah, so if you let either Purify go through, um, Purify basically staggers them again, so they're going to be staggered next turn. If they have five plus nails, which they're going to have because she's going to inflict a bunch of nails with her attacks, right? Cool. Doing decently on Sanity. Sandy was actually a little bit of an issue there, potentially. We could have easily rolled the tails at any point and then had Rodion take the hit, but that's fine. We pulled through. Not doing a lot of damage, but the sinking is building up, right? That's important. You're taking some damage. That's all right. Your partially pride was... I guess the best play would actually be... Let Rodion get gazed, but trigger... Do we have anything else good for Pride? No, yeah, so trigger Pursuance for you. Because your Pursuance is 0.5 to Pride, so you're going to take, like, no damage. We're going to be clashing everything next turn, though. Yeah. Just go for the clashes we can actually win. Far and few as they are between. You're not evading this turn, though, so that's cool. Oh, we actually are dominating now because of the Sloth Res. That's good. More sinking, please. Waiter, more sinking. Okay. That's fine. We pull through. Excellent. We're getting random attack power down stuff thanks to the passive from Rhymeshank. So that's really good. You get staggered here. Okay, that's actually bad, though. We kind of did too much damage. Now, Rodent's the only thing that can do anything this turn. Okay, we can look at this now. So you can now see Destructible, Destructible, Destructible. So that's cool. Well, you could always see that, but now it's, there's going to be an extra thing when we break one, right? That's how it is, I believe. Pursuance can hit two of these. Hit both arms, maybe. Yeah, like that. Cool. Full Sloth Res? Oh, not a bad move. Yeah, sure. Normally, I'd just go all in on the Maws, but, like, this first turn, we just want to clash stuff, I think. Kind of the smarter move. Get some Rhyme Shanking next turn, probably. Definitely could have Rhyme Shanked here. Wouldn't have been a bad move. Instead of, you know, funny Pursuance. But Pursuance is always nice. That was a lot of tails. I guess it's because we egoed. Yeah. Sandy's not looking great here. That's fine. Profile swings. We can handle that. It means we got some blunt damage up this turn. Which is good. We just want to hit the maw here. Yeah. Flash innocent flutters. So we try something like this. Sure. And then everyone else, I think, is just going to go fully into you. Scorch knowledge this turn? Your, I can't see what your insight's at. Two? Okay. That's alright. Get the study hall going here. Get more... You will have more 
erudition for the time that goes through, so that's nice. Study Hall do good work for us. And Rhyme Shank for some sinking. Once again, could have corroded it. It's not the biggest deal. We've got some skill threes also coming in from Rodeon. So that'll be nice. Because skill three is good for... Did we not hit the Maw? Huh? Or did we and just wasn't a lot of sink? I think we probably did, yeah. Uh, Darren, do we run out of... Yeah, we run out of sinking slightly too early there. That's unfortunate. That's fine, it happens. We can manage. This is the Maw turn, isn't it? Yeah. This is the turn where we kill you anyways. All this stuff is good for sinking. Moments of erudition and stuff aren't really good for sinking, but like... It doesn't matter too much, because we're just going to be hitting you a lot here. More sinking count for good luck. And more sinking potency too, for also good luck. You're at 80 now, so you're going to take 80 more damage every time we hit you. This doesn't quite kill, but the skill 3 does. Oh no, it does kill. Oh, cool. Well, we can stop the sneaky snitch now. Um, it's going to take me a second to get to the menu to turn the actual music back on, so it's going to be a little quiet for a second. Yeah, cool. You did the most damage, which makes sense. You were in for a slot as you got your next skill slots earlier. You're also just kind of better for damage overall than Mursa. Mursa is a little bit more supporty. And nice, we get our Starlet, we get all of our good stuff. Nice. Good solid 20 levels. I'm just going to skip this because it's weird listening to that without the music playing. Shh. And there we go, cool. Good times, good times. My modules aren't super high right now, that's fine. I'll kind of I'll probably just be a little bit more stockpily with them for the future. Since the event's about to happen, I'm going to want to grind that, I'm sure. And Daily Bowl. See if we get anything. Hong Lu. Sinclair target extraction, what do we get? Also one star, is it going to be Sinclair? No, it's Ryoshi. Sure. And then funny special banner? Anything? One star, is it going to be... It's Ishmael, cool. Yeah. I want to do another run. It's been... I guess it's only been half a week for you guys since I've done a run, but it's been a week since I have used DH Merso last, since I was, you know, on vacation. It's nice to get him to use him again. He's a super fun ID. He works fairly well with Rodeon. He probably works best with someone who isn't as tanky, I guess. You know, right? Like someone like DH Honglu to give them a little bit of tankiness. But in terms of a duo, it's a pretty fun duo to run. But anyways, that'll be all for this time. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!